Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about creating videos using PowerPoint. We'll start with a very basic example, which is just saving your slides as videos. Then I'm going to show you how you can get your animation timing in there and music. And then we're going to go to a more advanced option where I'll show you how to do your voiceovers, add in video overlays and add sound design and all of that. So let's get straight into the tutorial. All right, to start off with our basic example, let's create a quick slide on jungle animals. And we're gonna use this and save it as a photo video slideshow. I'm using Office 365 here. Earlier versions of PowerPoint might miss some of these features. All right, let's start off by adding a background by right clicking and click on format background. And then you wanna click on picture and then click on insert. If you have an Office 365 subscription, you'd have the option here to add stock images. I'm gonna be using that today, or you can download from stock websites like Envato Element. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for elephant and click on insert right here at the bottom. And now we have this beautiful image of the elephant as our background slide. So I've gone ahead and repeated the exact same step for a couple more slides to get a few more images onto this PowerPoint slide. So the next thing we wanna do is add some transitions to make this a little bit more exciting. And to do that, you wanna click on transition and you have different effects that you can click to animate how it moves from one slide to another. You can select several or you can also select the random option right here and PowerPoint chooses for you a random one. And if we move to the right and click apply to all, it's gonna apply this random effect to all the slides that we have. So it means each picture is gonna transition with a different slide each time. All right, now that we have a sample slide, let's go ahead and show you how to save this as a video. To do that, you wanna head over to file, click on export, and then you wanna click this option that says create a video. Now this gives you the option to select uh, both 4K or even down to a standard definition video. And then once you're done with that, right here at the bottom, you have an option to choose how long you want it to spend on each slide. So we'll leave it at five seconds, which means it's gonna stay five seconds on each slide and then move to the next slide. And once you're done with that, you're gonna click on create video and just give that a name and hit on save. And this is what our resulting video looks like. As you can see, it's spending about five seconds on each of the slide and then moving to the next slide with a transition animation. All right, so that was a basic example of simply just saving your PowerPoint as a video. Now, what if we want to take it a little bit further and do things like maybe control the timing of each slide, not have them all come in five seconds, and maybe do a little bit more animations in the slide and control the timing of all of that. I'm going to show you how that works in PowerPoint. All right, so let's assume I really love this first slide and I want it to stay 10 seconds on this slide and not five seconds. To do that, it's quite easy. So you wanna go under to the transition menu and then over right here to the right, uh, is where it says uh, move on mouse click, you wanna uncheck that and check on after. And then you can put how many seconds you want it to stay on this particular slide. And this will affect just this one slide and the rest will obey the five seconds that we have when we're exporting the video. So if I go ahead and play our video one more time, you can see the elephant slide now stays for about 10 seconds and then it moves to the lion slide and the rest of them stays for just five seconds to transition. All right, next let's go ahead and see how we can add some background music to our newly created slideshow. To do this, you wanna make sure you're on the first slide, then head over to the insert tab and then click on audio and then audio on my PC. So I've head over to Envato Element here to get some jungle music. Envato Element is a really great resource for royalty-free multimedia content. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. You can check it out after this video. So once you've downloaded your music, you wanna just select that from wherever you've saved it, and then that adds it to PowerPoint. So once our music is loaded, at the top left here, we have some few options. If you don't see this, just make sure you're on the playback uh, tab. And then the first thing I want to do is click on play in the background. So this is going to make it play across all slides and continue looping until the video is done. All right. So now if we go ahead and play back our presentation, it will have some nice background music playing in the background. All right. Next, we're going to talk about adding animations to your video and controlling the timing of those animations to get them to come at exactly the point that you want them to come in. All right, to demonstrate this, I'm gonna add some text to this slide, give it some nice font and make it look nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some animations to this and I'll show you how you can control the timing of those animations. For the text animations, I'm just adding a simple float in animations for each of these text. And then let's go ahead and control at what point we want this to come in. So if you move to the right on your animation pane, uh, you just wanna go ahead and select each of these single animations and make sure they're starting with previous. 
what this does is that it converts uh, your animation pane into sort of a video timeline uh, as you can see right there at the bottom so this then allows you to individually move this uh the animations for each of this text to put it to whatever point you want it to come in the timeline the way i've done it like so so if i play this it's gonna start with the first animation and then once it's about two seconds the next one is gonna come in and then the third one in that manner and this is how you'd go about having precise control of your video timeline when you're adding animations to your videos and i hope you're enjoying this so far if you are the best way you can tell me thank you is by hitting that thumbs up button and share this with someone who might want to see this and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this now finally we're going to take it a little bit further and add videos to the slide i'll show you how you can trim those and then we're going to do the voiceover and then also add a video overlay for our voiceover for our class so let me show you how that is done in powerpoint all right so i have here some stock image of some giraffes from envato elements and i've downloaded this to my computer so i'm going to head over to insert and then right here to the right i'm going to click on video and then i'm just going to select this footage that i already downloaded so if we go ahead and play this back this is a video of two giraffes cuddling or fighting or whatever it is they're doing right there uh, so let's say i don't want this to play right from the beginning but where their heads touch each other we're going to go ahead and trim this so let me show you how you can trim a video using powerpoint so you want to click on the video head over to the playback tab and then you have the option right here to your left to trim the video so i'm just going to click on that and right here you see to the bottom it gives you the option to put in the time in point where you want the video to start from and with the red bar also you could put where you want it to end and this is how you simply trim a video in powerpoint so i'm just going to click on ok and we now have our video in our slide all right finally before we go i'm going to show you one more way you can record videos in powerpoint let's say you wanted to present through the slides and control all the time in manually and do a voiceover and all of that i'm going to show you how we can record all of that in powerpoint to do that you want to head over to the record tab and then over here to the right you have the option to click on record so you can record either from the current slide or from the beginning of the slideshow but since i'm at the beginning anyways i can click on either of this and it brings me right here to the recording page so let's go over a few options right here to the top right you can select whatever mic you want to use to record your audio and you can also select whatever video you want to use for the webcam in case you want to use a video overlay and then to the bottom you can mute your mic you can turn on your video and then you can turn on this picture to in picture overlay as you can see right here in the corner also right here to the middle you have the option to choose the highlighter to use to mark things while you're doing your presentation and once you're ready to record simply hit the record button right here at the top and it's going to count you down and you can start your recording hello class and welcome to another history lesson today we're going to be taking a journey back in time to learn about the animals of the jungle right here in front of me we have the elephant and the elephant dominates the jungle also we have the king of the jungle none other than the lion and then next to the lion we have the tender tiger and what we have right here the little one yep that one is our baby tiger and we also have our giraffes that love and cuddle all the time so once you're done with your recording if you need to clear it and start over there's a little clear button right here which you can use to clear it and then you can start the recording from the beginning so and once you hit and stop recording powerpoint is going to open up your slide with your recording you have your video here that you can move and place wherever you want it's also going to keep the voiceover the timing of the slide and all of that and once you're ready to save this video you want to make sure you select the option to use recording timing and narration when you are exporting the video that way it keeps all of that now you're done and you're ready to share your video with the world all right that's all i have for you today that's how you can create and save powerpoint slide as videos play around with that and see what you can do with it like i mentioned earlier if you enjoyed this video the best way to tell me thank you is by hitting that thumbs up so that youtube can recommend this video to more people and if you know anyone who could benefit from this make sure you share this with them Finally, before I check out, if you like this t-shirt right here, I have this now in my match store as a lot more designs that I have there. I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can check that out. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Make sure you keep learning. Bye-bye.